This man confessed to murdering a single mother to get to her two little girls. When the law finally caught up to Daniel Callahan and his accomplice, they were shocked by what they found. I'm Chris, and this is your recap. Callie Brunette isn't answering her phone. Usually, this 35-year-old mom of two talks to her friends and family multiple times a day, but no one's heard from her since June 12th. Early the next morning, around 8 a.m., her parents drive over to her house in Loringer, Louisiana to find out what's going on. It's so much worse than what they feared. Callie's body is in the bedroom, stabbed 30 times. Her little girls, just four and six years old, are gone, along with her black Chrysler. Paperwork and red tape jam up the rescue. It's hours later when the Amber Alert finally goes out. But there's good news. The missing Chrysler means police can track the girls through the plate number, assuming they're still with the car. Right away, tips and technology across Louisiana and Mississippi start bringing in results. The Chrysler, with the girls in the back seat, has been on the move for a full day. Its last known location? Jackson, Mississippi, a couple hours north. Law enforcement fans out hoping for a quick rescue. Two witnesses point them toward woods behind a vacant house on Bossier Drive. Kids were screaming back there earlier. 50 yards back, they find a pit. Bottom is four-year-old Aaron. She didn't survive. Her six-year-old sister is in her mother's stolen car parked nearby. She's hurt, but still alive. I don't even want to think about what might have happened to her if the police hadn't found her when they did. They say there was evidence of human trafficking, including small cages nearby and no animals in sight. The sicko allegedly responsible for this? Daniel Callahan. Police chase down the 36-year-old in a nearby neighborhood. As soon as they have him in cuffs, he can't wait to confess. On Lexapro, sober, no drugs in my system, I did. Why? Why did you kill the, the three-year-old girl? I have no reason for what I did. All I know is I want to say I was sober and only on Lexapro and off Lexapro, and I'm also diagnosed borderline with the multiple personality disorder. He tells police the girls wouldn't stop crying. He got rid of the four-year-old and kept her older sister as a sex slave. Thank God she was rescued alive. Investigators think Daniel may have dated Callie off and on. Did he spot her daughters first, then start up a relationship with her to get to them? Or did the relationship come first? That's still unclear. But he allegedly says he wanted to kill Callie for a while now. And there's another bizarre connection you should hear. Just down the street from his victims lives his alleged accomplice. You heard that right. Daniel's alleged girlfriend, 32-year-old Victoria Cox, lived less than a mile from Callie and her girls, according to WDSU. This woman is also a mom. She's got three little kids. She was arrested on June 13th at a hotel in South Jackson. It's really hard to wrap your head around this. How could a mom with daughters of her own help someone do this to a little girl? And I don't even want to think about what they may have had planned for the six-year-old. To make it even stranger, before this, her only brush with the law was for shoplifting. Now she's facing capital murder and sexual assault charges. On the other hand, Daniel has a long history of run-ins with the law. And are you ready for this crazy factoid? Daniel's father, Kelly Wayne Drott, is also a convicted killer. In 1990, he lured 19-year-old Rebecca Forbes from a street festival. Her body was found in the river three weeks later. He got 20 years for it, but managed to escape. While he was on the run, he shot his accomplice and snatched another teenage girl. Luckily, both women survived. Kelly ended up putting a bullet in his own head. Fast forward 34 years, and his seriously disturbed son, Daniel, seems to be a chip off the old block. I would kill me, and I'm gonna... I am, uh, I have told them everything that I did, and I have agreed to not fight it. Speedy trial, and the, uh, whatever it is. The... You hope for the death penalty? For what I did, lethal injection is the easiest thing for me. Are you pretending to be crazy? No, I'm not pretending to be crazy. Look me up in Region 8, borderline multiple personality disorder. Better look it up. So you have no... Crazy. I'm certified. I was only out of nut house two weeks now. Daniel's telling reporters all about it, but Victoria is keeping quiet. In her first court appearance, she claims she didn't do anything and doesn't know anything. 
The last time she saw the girls, they were alive. Prosecutors are still trying to sort this out and decide if they'll go for the death penalty. Think they should? Let's talk about it in the comments, and be sure to subscribe so we can keep up with this case together.